So now then we got the internet. It's common knowledge for any it's common knowledge for any Caucasian little boy who could be from West Bubble Chuck West Bubble Fuck Chesterton Field, Massachusetts, to go on Google, type in Pistol Pete, type in Larry Hoover, type in motherfucking Willie Lloyd, type in King Blood, type in all these no nefarious gangsters, and then think they got a PhD. Nigga, we watch one rich porter. Hold on, G, I gotta go off on this one. You niggas watch one rich porter documentary and think that they know everything. Niggas see one motherfucking Rayful Edmonds story and think they know what the fuck is going on. Mm. Niggas see Nicky Barnes and think he was the man. Mm. And don't even realize he told. Y'all watch the Cocaine Cowboys, see Rivy, and see the nigga Crosby who was fucking the godmother on the second one. And y'all praise them niggas, not even knowing them, not even the real gangsters. But because it's general public and being put out there, that's what is that's what's given. Now it's just the black, it's just the black culture time. It's just it's transitioning. Now I'm telling you, within the next four, five years, y'all gonna see the Larry Hoover movie. Y'all gonna see the Willie Lloyd movie. Y'all gonna see the real Richard Alpo Alpo movie. Y'all gonna start seeing real adaptations of the gangster stories we heard as kids and the boogeyman stories. You're starting to see the documentaries now about YBI out of Detroit. You starting to learn about Bush Jones. You starting to learn about Willie Lloyd and the Vice Lords out of Chicago. You start to learn about you learn you starting to learn about KSO from Philly, the Kibani Savage organization. You starting to learn about these these drug dealing crews and organizations now. You starting to learn about Waterhead Bo out of Cali and Melvin Butler who was supplying and moving the bricks from the Medellin cartel in the 80s to the East Coast in D.C. who was the first crip out doing business in D.C. with Rayful Edmonds. You learn these things because it's out there now. But you really don't know the nooks and crannies of these things because a lot of you aren't a part of this culture. So with that being said, the way I feel about it is it's out there. It's known facts. But it's like for you to really know the names, how I can roll them off like Fat Cat, Pappy Mason, Queens, all that, that comes from me being just a part of the culture. So we're just stuck in the era now where all the ghetto secrets that we heard as kids, the ghetto stories, the boogeyman stories about Chester, Chester White, Chester Campbell, the most notorious hitman from Detroit, had a hundred bodies and was hired by the FBI, all types of shit. You're just starting to hear the spook stories for real now. They're just they're just adapting to it. That's the only thing. But in my honest opinion, to the third degree. I, I, that's all it is. It's just general public. So you got guys like 1090 Jake and Vlad that can offer guys who was a little close money. to it enough money to that's tell their stories. That's Man, Keefy D wasn't supposed to tell that shit like that. Not like that. Hell no, nah, he wasn't supposed to get on there and talk about that. You got AZ. You know why AZ, AZ, the original dude from Payton Fool, was able to get on there and talk about that? Because all his comrades, dead, gone, persecuted, Already convicted, did their time, and came home. And he was already he was already solidified of no snitching or none of that. So that's the only reason. Certain dudes can do that because they time done came and went. The past done came and went. Their stories have been told. Shit, after you seen the movie Pay the Fool, it was okay for him to talk about what happened with him, Rich, and Alpo. That's all it is. We're just in an era now when we was kids. The spook stories that you heard of the tough guys all around doing their gangster shit. It's just becoming adaptation now. It's no longer stories. A lot of these dudes coming home from the feds, like Terrence Gangster Williams. Shout out to Gangster from New Orleans. Man, he used to meatball niggas, bro. That's one of the most notorious hit men in fucking New Orleans. That's baby brother. Regardless of what you feel about him, he's a legend, bro. That nigga, that nigga used that nigga invented the term meatball. Dressing up like a woman and catching you lacking. That's Terrence Gangster Williams. They think because he old now, sit on a podcast, and did, he damn near did half his life and some in the federal penitentiary. So that's all. A lot of them dudes coming home. Yeah, he was known in my city. He got so many bodies. He told, though. He did tell. He did tell. He told on the dead, however you want to put it. I, look. He told on dead niggas, man. He told on dead niggas. Loophole. Didn't T.I. do that? Yep. Yeah. So T.I. told, too. He said he lied, though. He said he was just playing. Man, whatever. 